uh, Peter Frederick. Three months ago, the city of Newark, New Jersey, signed a sister city agreement with the newly formed nation of Kalasa. Newark's agreement was not entirely unique. At least 30 other cities around America had also recognized Kalasa in one way or another, granting this fledgling nation legitimacy and access to the halls of local governmental power. One thing, however, marked this recognition of Kalasa as radically different from all the previous ones. Someone, somehow, although only after the agreement was signed, realized the nation doesn't actually exist. Kailasa is a fake. The whole agreement was a fraud. Kailasa pulled a con job on the city of Newark. Why? For the sake of legitimacy, of course. <laughs> Gaining the stamp of approval from dozens of cities around the U.S. was crucial to Kailasa's PR campaign. Many of these formal recognitions were proudly posted on the fake country's website. In fact, it wasn't just cities. Even members of U.S. Congress were duped into recognizing Kailasa. Amidst all the embarrassing fallout of this incident, the one recurring question from Newark residents was, didn't the city even bother doing a Google search first? Now the good news is that the city of Hartford was not similarly hoodwinked. The bad news is that the type of con job pulled off by Kailasa has been similarly perpetrated in cities all across Connecticut by a different organization called the Hindu Swayam Sivak Song. The good news is that Hartford has not fallen prey to the HSS just yet, but this city might be next, so please stand forewarned. From Stamford to Glastonbury, from Rocky Hill to Wilton, and from Norwalk to Farmington, the HSS has, often over a period of years, systematically infiltrated cities throughout Connecticut to obtain formal proclamations, photo ops with the police and fire departments, and more. Usually this happens under the guise of recognizing the HSS's charitable and cultural programs. Yet the same question, just as with Kailasa, prevails. Don't these cities bother Googling the organization they're platforming and praising? If and when the HSS ever does approach Hartford, I appeal to city officials to exercise more discretion than other cities in the state have. Basically all that means is spending five seconds to look the organization up on Google. If you do, you will discover this. The HSS is the international wing of a fascist paramilitary in India called the RSS. The RSS in India is ideologically devoted to exterminating religious minorities, especially Christians and Muslims, and has perpetrated countless acts of extreme violence against them. Here in America, aside from all of its charitable and cultural work, the HSS serves as a propaganda mouthpiece and material support base for the RSS's hateful agenda back in India. Please do not make the Kailasa mistake by granting the HSS a platform if and when they do come knocking. Thank you. Thank you. And that concludes our public uh, comment uh, session for this evening.